Mastering the Art of Counting Numbers 11 to 20 in English Hello and welcome, learners. Today we'll be taking a deep dive into the world of English cardinal numbers, specifically, numbers 11 to 20. Not only will we learn these numbers, but we'll also explore how to arrange them in both ascending and descending order. Let's get started. Before we jump into arranging numbers, let's make sure we're comfortable with our numbers from 11 to 20. 1. 11. 2. 12. 3. 13. 4. 14. 5. 15. 6. 16. 7. 17. 8. 18. 9. 19. 10. 20. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, don't hesitate to pause the video and repeat the numbers as many times as you need. Ascending order means arranging numbers from the smallest to the largest. This is what counting usually looks like. For our numbers from 11 to 20, ascending order would look like this. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Try saying this a few times to get comfortable with it. Next, we have descending order. This means arranging numbers from the largest to the smallest. It's like counting backwards. For our numbers from 11 to 20, descending order would look like this. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. This might feel a bit strange at first, but with practice, it will become second nature. Now that we've gone over ascending and descending order, let's do some practice together. Here are some mixed up numbers. 16, 11, 19, 14, 20, 13. Try to arrange them in both ascending and descending order. Pause the video and take your time. Ready to check your answers? Here they are. Ascending order. 11, 13, 14, 16, 19, 20. Descending order. 20, 19, 16, 14, 13, 11. How did you do? Well done for making it through this lesson. Counting and ordering numbers in a new language can be tricky, but you're doing a great job. Keep practicing these numbers and their order, and soon it will feel as natural as in your native language. Thanks for joining us in this lesson about cardinal numbers from 11 to 20. Happy learning!